hi guys uh, in this video i am going to show you how you can perform the supervised classification in the sentinel 2 imagery and prepare the lulc map uh, this is the link uh, provided in the description please copy the link and open your favorite browser and paste it over there uh, you can here you can see all the uh, google earth engine codes uh, that already prepared to um, to perform the supervised classification and then after uh, uh, supervised classification so at first uh, delete all those area of interest file and that of the feature collection files so and uh, at first upload the area of the interest go to the assets new and then after um, upload the save files i have my save file uh, okay and you need to upload a C dot cpg file the dbf file the prg file shg file and shx file click over the open and the uh, hit over the upload button yes and okay uh, go to the tags here you can see uh, uh, the file uh, is going to be uploaded soon okay uh, and go to the tags here you can see uh, in uh, in this table yes okay go to the assets section and refresh over the assets you can see the just uploaded uh, area of the interest file and import the area of the interest file and give the name to aoi uh, just like that uh, we are going to collecting the different features uh, so uh, at first do uh, select all the button by clicking ctrl a and again ctrl forward slash so that uh, all those code get commented and at first dot map dot center object uh, uh, write the map dot center object and uh, go to, uh, give the dot uh, give ay and click save and um, you can uh, it, it uh, to run the code you have to save the uh, save the code at first uh, so uh, i give this name to the lacom lulc and uh, okay and you can see here in script it gives save and hit the run button okay and uh, in the map section i i haven't mentioned the zoom level so i give the zoom level 10 at this time and the run button and in the map section you can see uh, you can see the area of the interest file okay and okay let's uh, delete the aoi at first uh, uh, the, the this line at first and we have prepared we have already write the code uh, so the uh, so to uh, visualize the rgb image so let's check uh, um, on comment uh, the section up to uh, visualization of the rgb image and again uh, click over the uh, control and forward slash and it get uh, unchecked here uh, you can change the date too but i keep it as it is and click over the run and you can see here the rgb image of the area of the interest file yes and okay zoom over it that's all okay now uh, um and at this time we are going to uh, collecting the feature data sets uh, all those uh, forest agriculture residence uh, residential uh bare land and something like that okay at first uh go to um to so uh uh, to do this change the map to a satellite and uh, hover the or check and uncheck the rgb file and uh, click over the rectangle and give the name to forest import as feature collection give the property as capital lc and value to zero for forest as like that give the other value and at this time residential area uh, change the import as feature collection property lc value one again uh, give the uh, another name that is called water uh, water and feature collection and this time capital lc to uh, uh, and at this time okay uh, bare land uh, give, same as uh, before okay uh, agriculture land at last and give the geometry feature collection property and land cover lc and value that okay check all the value of the lc at first zero one it should be in the ascending order two uh, three for bare land and four for agriculture land okay perfect 
and um, we are okay uh, let's uh, uh, uncheck the just line those merging lines those training lines and uh, give uh, give our uh, feature collection data set uh, at first you can see the forest so that forest that merge and then we go to the residential area and the second residential area uh, that merge and then after water water and then bare land bare land and then after agriculture land okay uh, uh, we have to uh, if we haven't collect the data yet so that we have to collect uh, the data of each and the every class uh, based on the um, base satellite imagery and then uh, and the uh, displayed RGB imagery. At first, let's collect the data for the forest area. Uh, okay, uh, zoom over the area where you can find the uh, forest and okay and draw the uh, rectangle over here. You can collect the point data too, but I am here. I am collecting the data using the point files. Just like that to uh, make sure all those polygons fall inside those uh, area of the interest and uh, collect the data uh, area, uh, collect the data of all over the area AOI so that uh, the, it produces the uh, math uh, symmetric results all over the uh, area and it perfect results okay and uh, please cover all those areas okay let's change to the residential area and we uh, we are going to uh, okay uh, zoom over the roll file okay uh, 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 uh. okay uh, zoom over the uh, proper residence area here uh, here i am uh, i am going to class going to prepare the classification of the much ruler areas uh, so the residential area is uh, too much less uh, okay and uh, okay those bright pixel definitely be the residential area so uh, i think the residential is not uh, much enough so i am uh, changing it to the residential and uh, road areas road um, and so that i can assign the road value also in the, into the residential area uh, okay, uh, just like that collect the all the features right uh, you have to collect the uh, forest residential water bare land and all those all the features uh, that are uh, that we are, we are going to uh, um, Detect on the satellite imagery or the we are, we are going to classify on the satellite imagery and you have to uh, much you have to be much precise while collecting the data set so that uh, no other pixel classes falling in, inside the uh, another class uh, i think you may know that so the, uh, it is going to classify based on the spectral signature curve so that each and every plants have the plants and the features have the on uh, reflectance curve okay after we um, uh, collect the data set uh, let's let's uncheck the data here you can uh, you find the code that is uh, that generate uh, that um, classify the classifier is uh, I am using the smile card classifier and uh, um, okay at first uh, click hit over the save and uh, click uh, okay uh, click over the you can see there enough get data get collected so hit over the run button and okay uh, you can see here you can see uh, those um, uh, uh, bar diagram that shows the area of the each classes and uh, uh, at the uh, top and you can also download the csv file of the each of the classes um, this is the area in the square kilometer right the forest area is in the 51.306 here you can see the next uh, more is agriculture that is 17 point uh, something uh, that's it okay and uh, uh, you can see uh, the it, it's in the square meters right uh, i think uh, the, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the I think this is the pixel uh, pixel values uh, more than that the square meter. Okay. Um. Uh, I also exported the. I also want, I want to uh, export these uh, raster into the uh, drive uh, so that uh, good. Uh, I click over the run button and then change uh, every yeah change the drive folder to LULC and the heat over the run. Okay, so it over the run scale is 30, yeah, the default is 30, that is uh, okay. And you can see, uh, I think uh, our uh, raster gate exported in the drive. So, check the drive um, and at the first, you, you get uh, the LLC file uh, and download the LLC, uh, yes. And I think uh, the raster have doesn't have so much so uh, doesn't have so uh, much higher area so uh, to make the map I am using the Arcgis Pro uh, you can use uh, we can follow my steps uh, to how to uh, make um, proper LLC data so I clip the area with the uh, ROI file and then go to, from the symbology I change the color of every every colors and then uh, and then I make uh, the area that is exactly like that thank you